Monday morning and I thought today I would take you along and show you what I clean on a daily basis and kind of when I clean during the day. It is Monday so it is a work day and I work from home, always have even pre-pandemic so I have the luxury of kind of dividing up my cleaning throughout the day and I do the majority of it first thing when I wake up because I really get distracted if it is messy when I'm trying to work from home. So I'm gonna show you what I'm doing this morning and then take you along throughout the day and show you what I do around 3 p.m. and then again later this evening after work hours. So come along and let's get cleaning together. beginning of this video might look familiar because I'm essentially just following my daily cleaning routine checklist which I will leave linked below in case you want to download it and follow along. I have it in IG story format so I always like to post the checklist and then post chap to cleans as I go through the checklist and it just keeps me accountable for finishing it. So I'm starting with the dishwasher and emptying the sink as I drink my coffee. I'll usually put a YouTube video on while I'm doing this or the news depending on what time it is. So it's just an easy way to start the day and kind of set everything off on the right foot. loving Miss Meyer's basil scent for my all-purpose cleaner of the counters and let me know in the comments below if you have a favorite scent for spring. I am definitely open to trying other scents but right now this one has been so nice and fresh especially for that transition into spring considering we still have about a foot of snow outside. <laughs> Next, I am doing the kitchen sink. So this is one of my least favorite chores and you can see why, it's pretty gross. I'm using my Vim cleaner today, but I also like to use baking soda and vinegar with a touch of Zephora, just scrub it down nice and well, and it just keeps the whole kitchen smelling fresh. done wiping down the surfaces of the kitchen I'm just doing a quick vacuum and I am using my Dyson V11 outsize which I have been loving I have a full review on my channel in case you are interested and then I'm moving into the living room just to straighten things up wipe down the coffee table the dining room table before vacuuming that area and I think that's one of my favorite things about the Dyson vacuum is I don't feel like I have to do all the vacuuming at once it's so easy to turn off set down wherever and pick it back up again so I've just been loving the flexibility of it 
I really did focus on this main living area yesterday just because this is where I was planning on working for the day since it was quite chilly outside. I wanted it to be as close to the fireplace as possible, but I kind of switch it up when I'm working from home. I have a home office or I'll sit in the atrium on really cold days. Sometimes I'll work most of the morning in bed and I just like to kind of change my scenery as I go. So let me know in the comments below, are you a desk worker or can you work anywhere? I do one load of laundry a day and I switch all the loads in the morning. So if anything is wet in the washer from the day before, I hang it up. If anything is done being dried, then I will fold it. And then if anything is completely dry on the racks, I'll put that in the dryer to fluff and fold the next day. So doing this routine, it just kind of keeps me on top of it and it's been working really well. But let me know in the comments below if you do a different routine or what you find works. It takes a lot longer when I'm filming, but I usually do this in the first 45 minutes that I'm awake. I will get all this done, 
while I'm drinking my coffee and catching up on some of my favorite YouTube channels. So right now I've been loving Kara and Nate just because I'm living through their old travel vlogs, but some of the other channels I love are Love Meg, um, Nikki Michelle, Ashley Higgins. So I'll watch that. I get a lot of motivation from watching them and I get my morning routine done and then I'm down to sit down and get to work with like a totally clean home that I can focus in. So I have the dishwasher half loaded and there's room to put like our lunch dishes and stuff in there. And I'm just gonna put on some focus music. I've been loving the deep focus. So I'll show you. It has like all of these beautiful sceneries and just like really good music to work to. So I've got my candle going, I've got my coffee, my second coffee, and I will be sitting right here until lunch. our home clean we both are working from home actually my fiance is in school right now to be a pilot so he's working behind the computer all day long as well as working for our marketing clients so we are at home all the time and that means that you can get a really messy house so what we do every weekend is we will food prep so I cut up all of our produce, have it all washed and accessible. I have, you can see mini potatoes already roasted and cooked. I, if I don't buy those cheese bags that are already grated, I will grate cheese. I will wash all of our produce and fruit and just have everything just ready to go. And that means when we're cooking lunch, there really isn't any dishes. We are just heating up whatever in the microwave or assembling a salad and that is it. So it means that cleanup is super quick and cooking is super quick and then nothing gets messy during the day. So that's what works for us and I highly, highly suggest it. If you are finding that your kitchen becomes a disaster midday and you don't have time to deal with it. later now it is closer to five o'clock so it's starting to get dark out and I need to get outside and go for a run so I'm gonna do that now I usually do a 3 p.m. kind of half an hour power clean just to kind of get rid of that afternoon tiredness but I didn't actually have that today so before I go for my run I'm just going to switch over the laundry and hang up the load that I threw in this morning and make sure that that's drying and then other than that I'm in pretty good shape I've just been sat here by the fire working like all afternoon but what I really suggest for kind of keeping your workspace clean, especially if you're working from home right now or always, is having all the vegetables and food kind of prepped for your lunch because our kitchen, you can see, is totally clean still and that's because I had emptied the dishwasher so all of our dishes were able to go in there and then because we did a huge food prep on Sunday, everything's kind of ready so I like cut carrots cut cucumbers the lettuce is washed the berries are washed and then that way things are a lot easier we had also um, pre-made a bunch of potatoes roasted potatoes so I can pull from that all week but it just makes it a lot easier not to have to dirty up like a cutting board etc I can just use the microwave at lunch and then that keeps everything clean and then after dinner I'll be able to start the dishwasher and then we will have a fresh set of dishes for tomorrow and I'll do the same kind of routine. So I will continue showing you what I clean if I clean anything today, but I am going to get changed into my running stuff, which means 
say goodbye to makeup, say goodbye to everything else. I might not show my face, but I will show you what I am cleaning the rest of the day. This has been my cozy setup all day. You can see it's starting, well, I don't know if you can actually see, but it's starting to get dark outside. And I have some area Disney music playing. But yeah, I have hot chocolate, coffee, and water going. And you can see the sun is starting to set because it's about five o'clock. So I better get out and do some sort of exercise since I've been sitting on my bum all day. Much later in the day, I went for a run and had a shower, we ate dinner, and now it is time to do the final couple of tidying things around the house. So I do like to set up our master bedroom about two hours before we go to bed. I just close the curtains, I will turn down the bed, put the throw pillows aside, and start our diffuser. So. I love having the diffuser on a couple hours prior because it really has time to fill up the whole room and I've been loving our sleep blend which is bergamot and lavender I believe so I've just been adding those to the diffuser and starting it and then letting it do its work before we go to bed and I do find that this helps me or encourages me to go to bed earlier just because it's such a nice atmosphere it makes me want to go to bed early. go back into the kitchen and I am tidying up from dinner and just starting the dishwasher to make sure it is ready for my morning routine again tomorrow. So that is everything I clean in a day. I hope that that is insightful or helpful to you in some way when you are trying to keep a clean home while working from home. So let me know in the comments below if there's anything else that you do on a daily basis that is really helpful and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching.